Thank you all for coming. We are here today, not to mourn, but to celebrate the life of Northwestern's tenure as a ranked basketball team. 25th in the AP poll. Rest in peace. One week. What a week that it was. So many memories. So much love. So much hard work. So much joy that they brought to Northwestern's fans' lives for seven days that included a loss at home to Chicago State, who is 321st in Ken Palm. Welcome to the funeral of the ranked Northwestern Wildcats. Carter Elliott's here. I'm here. Uh, Cart, what the hell happened last night? We hardly knew ye. We true, truly, truly hardly knew ye. And Greg, I think we need to start by taking some blame for ourselves because we not 24 hours ago recorded a video where we both acted surprised that Northwestern was 25th in the country. Did we not? Yeah, I mean, let's. Why don't we give ourselves a round of applause? It's good to see somebody win in a, such a sad. You got to find some type of small win and such a massive loss, but there are no words that I can truly put out here that'll encapsulate good word right there. The massive loss that this was losing to Chicago state on any basketball court, honestly, in the world of college basketball. And I'm sorry to Chicago state because they played amazing. Wesley Cardet jr. Had, I think like 30 points, five rebounds, five assists in this game. He was incredible and the best player in the game where Budarius Bowie was on the court. Not a lot of people can say that. With that said, usually the first step to a coach getting fired is losing at home to a team like Chicago State. Chicago State is just an awful basketball team. They are truly one of the worst Division I basketball teams. They have been known as that for the last couple years. This is a truly inexcusable loss. I don't care if it was at home. I don't care if there was people on the floor. I don't care if the court somehow had condensation on it. You can't lose to Chicago State. You can't. It's bad vibes. And it's even worse that you are a team in Chicago. Boo Booey's going to try to go out somewhere this weekend, and he's going to be told to wait in line because they lost to Chicago State. And he's going to look through the club window and see Wesley Cardet Jr. in the section. This is this is awful. Awful look for our Wildcats, for our Budarius Bowie. Yeah, you can't you can't lose even if there's condensation. Really? What? Like, what if what if there was some condensation? We're really saying we can't lose with condensation. No, I, mean, no, I don't I don't care if they did a halftime show where they showed zoo animals and all the lizards <laughs> got out of the exhibit and ran on the court mid-game. You can't lose to them. All right. All right. Understood. Um, understood. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened in this game. I would draw the line, you say, uh, to to our Wildcats and our Budarius Bowie. Let's just make it extreme. I can't, I can't take you seriously looking at what's behind me right now. But for those that are just listening to this, well, no, this is only on YouTube, so I would hope you're watching this. There's just a... A bunch of pictures of Nana behind <laughs> Carter right now celebrating her life. Um, I don't know how they lost this game, but I, I want to draw the line between our Wildcats and our Budarius. It's never been our Wildcats. We've never come in saying, like, we're super confident in Matt Nicholson. I know you like Brooks Barnheiser, and I do too. But, like, I'm not, like, into Ty Berry and Ryan Langborg. Well, I, thought you, I thought you were a Ty Berry guy. I think Ty Berry's normally good. I, I I still don't think like if Ty Berry's your third best player, you're a very good team, right? Like yeah. what has been special about Northwestern and why I'm giving them a chance in any of these games is because Boo Booey is Boo Booey. Like I am unequivocally a Boo Darius Booey guy. Where he goes, I go, okay? I honestly would have loved maybe looking back on it, uh, Boo's a loyal guy through and through, loyal to the soil, right? Maybe get on your Dame Lillard maybe a year earlier or two, maybe, while you have some eligibility. Because if Boo, if Boo could have ended up on a team that has real stuff around him, it could have been special. And instead he's... Yeah, look, Boo. I thought Boo was great tonight. He had 23, 8, and 6. He had 23, 8, and 6, and they lost to Chicago State because Ty Berry had three points in 34 minutes. 
Like <laughs> they had seven points off the bench as a team. What are you supposed to do? Boo is that good. The team still has this really low, low, low floor. And um, look, man, I, I don't want to say we didn't see this coming because Northwestern's had great, great, great highs. Obviously, the win against Purdue is incredible. They were off a blowout of Detroit Mercy in their last game. Detroit Mercy's right next to Chicago State on Kempom, similar caliber teams. They blew out Northern Illinois the game before that. Northern Illinois is pretty good. But we did see this team struggle against bad opponents earlier in the season. Like They, they were in a rock fight against Western Michigan, and Western Michigan's horrible. So... I think the truth is, like we said it yesterday, they're 25th in the country in the poll. They were 41st on Ken Palm. They've fallen all the way to 68th on Ken Palm after this game. I think that's a lot closer to who they really are. And they need contributions from people that aren't boo, which is what they got in the Purdue game. They got none of that against Chicago State. Yeah, they definitely got to help my dog out. Honestly, not mad, though, that they're at 68th. Like, I need play in boo. I need play in boo. Johnny Juzang type run to like the final four. I would love that, but also I need, I, I need a special Budarius run. We also took an oath that we would only support good teams making the final four. So I don't think I can even say that this okay. year. Okay, Can we get them to the elite eight? I'm good with elite eight. That's fine. Okay. Like Bucky underdog elite eight where they lose to, I don't know, Kansas or something. I'd be in. Yeah. Um, so I, I, can I box score watch for a moment? Yes, of course. Okay, so I I can't understand how Northwestern lost this game going through the box score. Um, they shot better from three as a team than Chicago State. They made 47% of their threes. Chicago State made 34% of their threes. Uh, Northwestern had the same amount of turnovers as Chicago State. They had more assists. They had less fouls. Chicago State fouled them 18 times. Northwestern only fouled four. Like, I don't, looking through the box score, I don't know what Northwestern did so poorly as a team to lose this game other than let Cardet go crazy. Yeah, I mean, he went, he went stupid. And don't, and for those who haven't watched him, like Chicago State's bad, but like Cardet's good. Yeah. At least, like, Cardet averages, like, I think 18, 5, and 5. But he went nuclear, and he took this game personally. And Northwestern had it. Like, this was a tie game, I think, after all that happened. It was a tie game. Um, and Wesley Cardet just said, I'm about to make shots. And, unfortunately, on the other end of the floor, Buderi has set up Ty Berry for a wide open three to tie the game. Clanked it. So, it's like, you 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 end up in a close game with this team somehow. And then in that last winning time, as I like to call it, players on Chicago State made more winning plays than a play than a game with Budarius Bowie. See, I don't like I don't like that angle. I don't like that angle. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it more, I can't believe Boo let them lose. Yeah, twenty. What was twenty three eight and six? <laughs> and when it came to winning time, he's dishing to Ty Berry. I I don't like this angle. 23 8 and 6 is 23 8 and 6, man. Got to winning time and didn't win. Was it a wide open three he got the kick out on? Who cares? It's a good play by Boo. What do you want? Like, you want him to not pass to a wide open Ty Berry? Tyson Walker did that. I'd hear about it. Yeah, because he'd be kicking out to whoever, like Cohen Carr at the four for three. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. I was going to throw a jab counter in there, but that doesn't even deserve it. All right. I'm just saying. Um, all right. Still a tournament team, yes or no, Northwestern? Yes. I don't think so. I don't I think, think I think I, don't, I think playing. I don't think you can lose this game. Like that's if they're gonna end up on the bubble and they will be left out of the tournament because they have a bad loss to Chicago State. Yeah. Everything they did against Purdue kind of goes to shit now. Do you think Northwestern because of, because, because, because of this it? loss? If they could, do you think Northwestern fans would flip it, like just lose to Purdue and beat Chicago State? I think so, yeah. I think so, too. Then they would. Should Purdue fans be terrified? Like, transitive property, you're worse than Chicago State? I'm I'm, I'm not a transitive property guy, but I am. Lance Jones doesn't want to see Wesley Cardet Jr. Is that too much math for us, the transitive property? No, it's pretty easy. Is it? Yeah. Then why aren't you a transitive property guy? Because every time I do it, someone tweets me, oh, transitive property. 
take an L. Oh, that's when I came back with the 17 game rebuttal transfer property. Yeah. 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 That was tough. Uh, okay. Final question for me. Who's the best team in Chicago? So you got Chicago state beats Northwestern. It's Illinois. They're not They're Come on. Don't do that. Are you saying like, are you saying in the city of Chicago in or Chicago, just Chicago? Yeah. So Illinois. Northwestern Chicago state beats Northwestern Loyola, Chicago beats Chicago state. DePaul's hovering and DePaul plays Northwestern next game. Who's the best team in Chicago? Northwestern. Not Loyola? I, I think Boo Boo plays for Northwestern. He doesn't play for Loyola. I think he's the best player in Chicago. Until, you think Loyola's the best team in Chicago? Until Wesley Cardinet shows up, man. I don't know anymore. I think all these teams are bad. I, I mean, like, I, you, like you, you, UIC, Illinois, Chicago beat beat Loyola I think if Loyola played Northwestern tonight I would bet on Loyola they're, would... playing, they're playing better right now yeah I agree okay all right please get right boo I gotta see if boo goes out in the NIT this year I will be absolutely devastated what if he puts Michigan out in the NIT is this Doug playing yes then I'd be devastated. Uh, Why wouldn't Doug be playing? There's a lot of reasons. Okay. Shout out to Nana.